Hello and welcome. I'm Rivka Slacken. And I'm Shlomo Slacken. And we're here today to talk with you about a brand new opportunity for couples to get help for their relationships, married, engaged, dating, committed relationship, a new opportunity for you to get some help to improve your relationship in a beautiful tropical destination. Um, we've launched in 2022 Costa Rican uh, tropical therapy retreats, also in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And we've got six dates to choose from this year in 2022. And we just feel like after two years of the pandemic, couples need the opportunity to get away and also improve their relationship. So some couples have just seen our website and just clicked on register now and they didn't even need to think about it. They knew immediately this is what they needed. But other couples have some questions and we wanted to take some time to answer those questions for you um, in case you've been wondering yourselves these very same points. So question number one that we received, why in the world would I want to go away with my partner who I haven't been able to stand spending time with at home? Why would I want to travel in the airport on a plane and then five days, four nights in a beautiful, luxurious location together? <laughs> Like, you know, what if it goes horrible and we end up more mad at each other than we were at home? So tell us, Shlomo, you as the marriage counselor and a certified Imago relationship therapist, you see these questions all the time. Yeah. Tell I us. mean, it makes sense you wouldn't want to, in some ways, it depends on the couple, but it makes sense that, you know, if every time you get a lot, go somewhere with each other, you wind up fighting. It's like, why would you want to go on a vacation with, with, with your significant other? Um, on the other hand, there are many couples that, Actually, if they would actually get away and have time alone where they could just focus on each other without the stress of, of, of work, of kids, everything, they would actually be able to reconnect. And we really believe that the fact that you chose your partner, that you originally fell in love, shows us that there's a deep connection there. And that even though it's buried out with all the clutter over the years and the, and the conflict and the negativity and toxicity, we believe you can get back to that. And we believe that that's really under the surface. So... Being able to rekindle that, being able to have a chance to get away, to have a change of scenery um, is really important and can actually make it an experience, and especially with the work we're going to do. Obviously, we're not just going to like, have you on vacation and have to work it out. With the work that you're going to do to learn about your relationship, couples experience uh, you know, those feelings of love that they initially had. They experience new hope for their relationship. So the goal is that it should be a positive experience and that you're going to actually enjoy being with each other. So it's almost like you're saying the experience that the couples will have at these therapeutic retreats will not just be a repeat of what's going on at home. They will be a new way of being together in relationship. Right, because once once we get started, maybe on, on your way there in the airport, but once we start working, then you, the goal is that you'll be able to see something different. Right, and that's through the tools and exercise and all the experiences that we do over the, over the retreat, which is detailed in the itinerary, but we can talk a little bit about it here as well. Um, what about the privacy uh, that a couple will have? Because there will be other couples there. Um, tell us about it. Does it feel you know invasive? Do you feel like you have to share your private life? Sure. So couples always... The, I guess the apprehension a lot of couples have about doing a group experience is they are worried about this privacy factor. Um, people will, will see you. They probably learn your first name because we usually have people introduce themselves. Um, beyond that, you're not required to share anything in the group. It's group instruction, but the work is individual or as a couple. So the presenter is going to present the information then you have an opportunity to do some written exercises and then also exercise with your with your spouse and you can spread out and you can you know not going to be right next to someone so it won't necessarily be audible if you want to demo you're welcome to but otherwise we've had people go to our group workshops we've had actually no clue what was going on in the relationship why they were there and they came away with a wonderful experience afterwards so it is possible to to feel that sense of privacy so couples come really in all stages of relationship, whether they're, you know, at their last straw or they just want to make a good relationship great. And you're saying that no one really knows why anyone else is there unless they choose to be the demo demonstration couple where we have them actually model certain. Right. Or you ask questions. I mean, if you're asking questions, you know, what, what do I do in a case where a partner cheats on someone? I mean, we can try to guess why you're there. But, you know, it's going to, it depends on 
you're not required to participate in terms of publicly. You are, we do encourage you to do all the work that, in terms of the written work and the work with your spouse, but in terms of publicly, you don't have to. So nobody's going to need to know. And I think it's also good business. to mention that really the theme of these therapy retreats for couples is emotional safety. So nobody has to do anything that they're uncomfortable with. The whole purpose is to teach you and show you how to create a new way of being in a relationship, which is a, an emotionally safe way of being. So we don't, allow um you know any kind of uh oversharing or like if one if the wife wants to kind of share everything her husband does wrong like that's there's no forum for that right it's not going to be a blame shame fest and in and for sure not in public and the presenters are skilled and going to make sure that um the, pre the the process goes on and that there's nobody kind of hijacking it so if you're concerned that your spouse is going to start asking questions and they'll catch on to that too if we notice somebody that's, I would say, asking questions that maybe not really nice or in a, feel inappropriate for the group setting, we would kind of encourage Jeffy them to Sarah. hold their question, maybe speak to them privately afterwards, but kind of yeah. veer it away from the group. It's not a, a kumbaya oversharing yeah. fest. Right. And, and it's not group therapy in the sense where everyone's doing the group. Now, I will say there is an advantage of being in a group because you start to see that when, we, when the when the presenters share what goes on in a relationship, and when the couples that do share a demo, you start realizing, oh, wow, I'm not alone. There's nothing wrong with us per se. Our situation isn't drastically different than any of the other couples. So there is a definitely a healing factor being in a group that you don't get individually, where you can really normalize your situation. And I think that's one of, that's one of the, the important factors of group therapy that really helps, the healing factors, because... A lot of people come in, they feel, oh, why me? And like, my situation is so horrible and I feel like a victim. And when you see that it's really normal, even though it's painful, it helps normalize it, it helps make it easier. It helps give you the motivation to actually to change. And it's actually funny because the first day, you know, there's always a little bit of tension in the air when couples come in the room. By the end of the retreat, these couples are exchanging phone numbers. They're great friends. They have really found an, another couple that's going through sort of what they've been going through, and they feel a, a huge sense of relief and camaraderie with the other couples that are present. So even when we have our meals or snack breaks, um, couples are actually wanting to interact with each other and maybe grab a quick snack here or there. Nobody's running off to their room to kind of wanting to be alone. Um, they enjoy usually the camaraderie of the other couples. Um, let's talk about the presenters because we are not physically at every single retreat that we've planned for you, but we have handpicked the presenters who are going to lead these therapy retreats. And how did we pick them, Shlomo? So these are colleagues of ours. These are skilled Imago therapy workshop presenters who have been doing this for years presenting the Getting the Love You Want workshop. Um, they've been doing it in, in their home location for years, and they are joining us to our destination locations to bring their brilliance to you and to help you. So um, we know them all, and they're all wonderful. Uh, some of them are couples, some of them are individuals, but um, they've all, they're all experienced, and they've done tons of these workshops. Yeah, we, we really are very selective in who we pick to lead our destination retreats because this is our baby. And so we want couples to walk away happy and we want couples to walk away w with a new path charted forward that they feel is doable, that they can succeed. And most of the couples that attend our workshops and retreats end up staying together pretty happily. Some of them never having even implemented one testimonial testimonial we got was we never did anything that you said after the retreat was over but our marriage is changed forever because we understand the root of our conflict we understand our childhood story we have compassion for our spouse mm. and and we're in such a better place yeah, so depending on your situation uh you know we don't have longitudinal studies that so we're tracking people five ten years in, in in the future but but basically depending on your situation your motivation Sometimes it's just a, a mindset shift that people get from the workshop. Um, they're also getting practical skills. And if they really need the, everyone can benefit from the skills. But the couples who really need those skills, if they're motivated and they apply them, they're going to be successful. If they're having a hard time, we do offer follow-up opportunities. So if couples need the support to, and our accountability partner to make sure they integrate what they've learned, then that will definitely help them be more successful. Absolutely, for sure. 
Um, and if you're a couple that's one, you know, you really want to go and your partner doesn't really want to go, there's, that's very normal. Um, there's always going to be a dragger and a draggy. So Shlomo, why don't you give some tips to the dragger, you know, the dragger, how yeah. can they gently get their spouse to be interested to actually want to go away on one of these retreats? Right. So there are a few different ways to go about it. Um, you know, for a lot of people, we just say, like, you know, I really want to get away and work on our relationship. It could really be great for us, you know, from a more positive perspective. Um, that works for some people. For some people, that is not going to work. The main thing is you don't want to make the other person feel like it's their fault. That there's something wrong with them, that they're the problem. So you can even take, look, I want take responsibility. Look, I know I'm not easy to live with. I want to be a better husband. What can I do? You know, can you come with me on this retreat? I really want to learn the skills. I really want to learn about how to understand you better and be able to meet your needs. Take, talk about it like that. Now, we have some couples who are in a situation where they're about to get divorced. In those situations, beyond those, you could just say, look, I want us to be able to get, I want to give our marriage two days to see if we can, if there's any or, hope for us. Or the four or five day retreat. Or the, well, or the four or five day retreat. The one yeah. that's, we have right. private two days and then we also have the ones that well, are Well, it's about two and a half, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I'm not counting the vacation part too, but um, <laughs> I want to give ourselves this little, this retreat to see if we can make it work. Or at least to get closure so we can have a clear conscience. Or you can alternatively say, I want to be able to walk away with this and be at peace with whatever decision we make and to be able to be, if you have kids, to be good parents. Um, let's just, can we do this just like kind of like one last effort? I'm not going to drag you out for months and months in therapy. I'm just going to do it, you know, a few day, three or four day, five day retreat. Um, and then we're going to be, we can make whatever decision we make. Mm. And that for some people it's helpful because people don't like the idea that things are going to be dragged out. They want to just feel like, okay, I can give you know, three, four days and it will, and then I'm done. Hmm. And that once you get them in, well, hopefully you can open, open their heart to being able to. That's connect. really the hardest part is really getting them in the door because the magic happens once you're there, once you're going through this uh, process where we take you through the past, where you can understand the childhood, and then we take you into the present and understand the current source of the conflict, and then we help take you into the future. What is your vision for your future together? So. The magic happens in the process, so really the hardest part is getting them in the door. Um, if this, I guess also, you know, these are more pricey than maybe going once a week to a, a therapist that's on your insurance panel. What do you say, Shlomo, for a couple that's, you know, needs to justify the expense of going to Costa Rica or going to Mexico, doing intensive couples work? Yeah. Um, how do you justify well, that? A few that, things. That First cost? of all, you're getting... Well, besides the fact that you're spending time with your spouse and having a vacation, but beyond that, you're getting six months of marriage counseling essentially in two days. That's what we say with this workshop. So if you think about whatever that would, would cost, that's a lot of therapy. And it's a lot of time. And couples that are struggling cannot afford to wait. And nobody wants to be in limbo. People, nobody wants to be in pain. And so just for that, it's worth it. You're getting six months, but it's not just six months. It's the cumulative effect of six months in, in a few days, which means that the impact is going to be much stronger and much worth, m much more valuable than, than the six months of therapy you could get. Um, you're also working with people who are skilled. We're not just talking about couples counselors, but we're talking about couples, marriage counselors with advanced training and with a workshop presenter. So these are people who have been doing this for years, who are extremely experienced and probably going to be more skilled than just someone who on an insurance panel who's doing marriage counseling. Now, I'm, there are plenty of great marriage counselors around, but I'm just saying we're dealing with this is people who are very knowledgeable. Right. To be able to lead the certified Imago relationship therapy brand of getting the love you want, you have to go through many, many trainings. Yeah. So it's like going to a, you know, a specialist in their, you know, if somebody has an illness, they go to the specialist in their field. They don't just go to their general general practitioner is somebody who just kind of got started. So uh, you're in good hands and you're getting a lot for the time and it makes it all worth it. And then besides, the, the alternative is if you don't get good help or if you decide not just to get divorced, well, just the lawyer's retainer fees are much more than this, this retreat. And then of course, splitting your assets and of course the emotional damage and probably all the individual therapy everyone's going to have to be in. It's just not worth it. And you find couples can really cancel the divorce process after going through 
of getting the love you want to achieve. I've, I've seen it happen. I mean, like as I said, ultimately, we, we can't make any guarantees. The success of the program is going to depend on your willingness to be open to the information and the application of it. If you don't do anything with this material, I mean, it would be a great two days, but, you know, it's not necessarily going to be helpful. So you need to be able to take what you learn and apply it. And if you can do that, then you can build a successful future together. But we, and we give them the, all yeah, the we tools give, they we empower to you to do it. It's just, you know, it's the motivation, the, the willingness motivation. to be vulnerable, the willingness to take responsibility. Um, but it's definitely something that's doable. And, and if you need more help, the follow-up sessions can help you with that too. Now, if a couple really, really cannot afford coming to a tropical destination retreat of ours, what do you suggest, Lono? So, we do have a, a local, an online version of the work of the workshop done in two days. It's significantly cheaper because you're not paying for the hotel or the food. Um, so that's an option, and we have. And they can talk to you. Yeah, about you can that. talk to us about that too. Yeah, about what makes sense so yeah. really we just want to invite and, and we, one thing is we do have sure. a we do have a payment plan uh, and you can use PayPal credit to pay it over six months without interest so that also can at least make it doable in the short term absolutely and that really helps a lot of people um, I just want to see that we covered everything else um, very good well it's a pleasure to have you attend one of these workshops, you... Yeah, we hope you can join us. It's, yeah. It's really... I mean, we heard from a clinician that went on on one in a few months ago, and she said, it's the most beautiful place she's ever been in the world, Costa Rica, this particular hotel and area. And she lives in Florida, so she gets yeah. plenty of tropical. Yeah. <laughs> but she said they're just absolutely wonderful, and they really are. We have an amazing staff. We have an amazing program set up for you. The magic is in the process that we take you through with the getting the love you want workshop and we really hope you can attend so schedule a time really to make a time to speak with Shlomo to give him maybe a little bit more details about your situation to have him you know help you figure out and get some clarity on what's best yeah I'm you. happy to speak with you here about your situation and see how we can lead you in the right way absolutely thank you for watching bye